Okay, I'm putting a few grocery things away, and I put my bags underneath here. Um, that's where I keep them. And um, as I shove some other bags under there, um, the female um, quote unquote officer went, Yeah! Like she was really excited that I was doing that. I don't know exactly why, uh, but I'm not going to search in there um, because. To my knowledge, the only thing that's in there are plastic bags, and um, on the right side there are some, you know, cleaning supplies and whatever, but otherwise, it's just uh, plastic bags. So, huh, these uh, dirty cops for months and months, as far back as last November, have been trying to manufacture a pretext to... Uh, take action against me, which is absurd considering they've had the stakeout team here for uh, over five months. Um, they've had their little torture team here for um, more on than off, but there have been a few days that they haven't been there um, for three months or so. And then, of course, these slime bags up here, the drone operators, have uh, uh, been harassing me for uh, over 10 months now, pushing 11 months. So, uh, I don't know if this is one of the little places that they plan on planting something. You know, they're going to, what is it? They're going to bust me. They're going to fix me because um, I won't give up. I don't get it, right? I mean, because I'm suing them. Uh, and making every effort to do so. So, in order to cover their criminal behinds, uh, their, uh, I, I guess there are specialists uh, within the corrupt and uh, unworthy of respect and beneath contempt um, Indianapolis Police Department, that they have specialists who actually manufacture criminal crimes to charge people with, apparently. And so they've already tried one old guy to do that, but I guess he failed. And now they've got some other schmuck that uh, they've called in over the last few days. And now it's his turn. So we'll see. Like I've, uh, I have posted a million times, they've, I've, I've been uh, concerned about planting for months and months. But then I discovered that um, they were stealing little personal items. And I've posted that on YouTube, too, you know, a couple of times now. So I don't know what these scumbags are up to. I don't really care. Um, I'm sure that they're going to try something because, you know, they're slimy and corrupt and dirty. And uh, that's just what they do. Anyway, um, I'm not going to... Uh, I certainly don't live in fear of these monsters. Now, they are imposing uh, poverty on me. They are imposing isolation on me through their stigmatization, uh, preventing me from finding jobs that are I'm qualified for, um, imposing me at the low-end job that I am able, that I was able to get, and, um, as I said, imposing all associations. I mean, they call in advance. I went to the movies tonight to, to a little cheap $2.50 movie, and they sent, uh, uh, they uh, dispatched a, a uh, sheriff's officer. I mean, uh, like the last two or three times I've been there, uh, there's been this sheriff, and I'm thinking, what the heck is this about? Like, you know, what is this about? Well, tonight, he arrives just as I'm arriving. <laughs> so, that's to just another one of their intimidations and their, uh, uh, their dirty tricks and their uh, scummy behavior and their uh, disgusting, despicable, low-life, piece-of-shit, schemy connivances that I, well, this is video two that I'll be posting uh, tomorrow on YouTube.